out of those four, I'd definitely go for Patterson. Because if you're going to change character, it's always best to go in a different direction. Doctor Who's been synonymously white, <laughs> so it'd be quite nice to have like a you know, change and see what he can do with it. Not sure about whether he could handle the Doctor Who role, though. I feel he should be a bit more kind of... Um, Kind of, uh, kind of old school, a bit more serious and a bit more mysterious. I see Doctor Who as something that's serious and silly at the same time, but I haven't seen him do that much serious stuff. Well, I've seen Johnson a few times before in other things, and I think he's a good, solid British actor, so I think, I think he'd do a good job at it, I think. I'd go for John Sim, I would. I think he's a very, very good actor, he's a um, good screen presence. John Sims, I think, would be good because um, he's very good and sort of laid back and very dry scent delivery in Life on Mars. So I think he would work. I thought he did really well in Life on Mars and, and think that that would be a good um, next step for him. Once again, David Morris, yeah, I think he's another one. I think he's a good actor too. David Morris has got the mystery about him. I think he's good. He's been a lot of stuff, uh, uh, stuff like that. I'd say James Nesbitt. He's... People recognise him and he's quite good at he's really good at his job. I think he'd bring something different to it, like <laughs> the previous Doctor Who did. You have to bring something different and I think he would. I like James Nesbitt, I like his face, I like his I like the way he, I like his accent, I like the way he is, he's an actor, and out of all them I recognise him the most, so that's why I probably would say I would like him to be in Doctor Who. Doctor Who with an Irish accent, I don't know, perhaps I'm being far too snobby. I think he'd bring uh, a real likability uh, and I think he's good at kind of wit and sarcasm and yeah I think it's uh, kind of fit in very well with that. He's a well-known actor and he's been known for doing a lot of different things so he could be well trusted in um, portraying um, a faithful Doctor Who yet something new as well. I think he's more uh, in character with the the older Doctor Who's. I just I think he just has the, the right face. I can see him with the scarf and the the mad clothes and I just think you know I think he'd be very good. Mainly for comedy value probably Neil Morrissey. Well, I just think he's a brilliant actor, he's funny, he command I've noticed that commands a stage, he commands anything he does. Mr Bean because I just love him in general. I find his face funny, so I think he'll brighten up the whole show. If Danny died, I might be fucking <laughs> might make it quite funny, to be honest. I think he's hysterical. I think we've got a different, completely different angle as well. What's that trans Eddie, the transvestite guy? What's Eddie his Izzard. name? Izzard, yeah. Why are you because he'd be funny. The whole point is to make it funny. Daniel Craig, yes. I've seen him in a couple of things, and I think he'd be ideal for it. He can come across with humour, and he is a good actor again for serious parts.